Hey guys, so I'm gonna uh, collect a specimen really quickly and then I'm gonna prepare it for transport to the lab. So my patient Eliana here is gracious enough to let me draw her blood. I may or may not have coerced her into that. <laughs> um, Take it so all. I'm gonna assemble my equipment and do a quick lab draw. Okay, let me bandage her up really quick and then I'm going to show you how we're going to get this ready to go out for transport. Usually when a specimen has to be transported, a courier comes to pick it up. And do you want paper tape or Cobian? Oh, Cobian. Okay, hold that tight for me for a second. Yeah. Um, usually a courier is going to have to come pick it up. And so we have to make sure that it is appropriately packaged so that it doesn't um, spill or break when the courier comes. You good? Mm -hmm. That's too tight, you can just yeah, send it back up. All right, so got my tubes of blood. Now this tube, um, if you know anything about lab work, has to sit for about 10 minutes and then be sun spun down in one of these centrifuges. So I'm gonna show you how to prep this um, hematology tube for transport instead. So the first thing you wanna do before a patient leaves, I forgot where my pen was, it's in my pocket, I've been doing that all day, um, is to make sure that it is appropriately labeled with your patient's name and um, date of birth. What's your date of birth? Make one up. Oh, okay. 214. Uh -huh. 2000. And today's date is 1-8-2019. Yeah. Yeah. And then my initials and um, I think that's it. So you want to make sure that your specimen is appropriately labeled um, with patient's last name, first name, date of birth, your initials, and then the date that the specimen was drawn. Uh, otherwise, it will automatically be rejected by the lab once the specimen gets there. This goes for blood, uh, culture swabs, hemocult cards, any type of specimen that you are sending off to a lab. So then the next thing is to grab your biohazard bag, and this is important. Needs to make sure, you need to make sure that it has the biohazard symbol on it because you are transporting biohazardous materials. And you want to um, make sure that if any of the boxes on the bottom of the bag are, are appropriate for the specimen that they are in fact checked. Now this is a, a pretty standard EDTA tube and so it does not need to be frozen, doesn't need to be refrigerated, it can go at room temp. Um, most of the time I don't check anything that needs to go room temp because it's pretty much assumed that most things will go room temp but if it makes you feel better to check room temp you can go ahead and do that. So we'll check room temp there. The other thing you want to make sure is that you have any accompanying paperwork um, to go with the specimen. So the, if this is my lab requisition that this, the tests that I drew blood in this tube for are ordered on, then I'm going to make sure that this is folded up and goes in this bag as well. So you put your tube in. Make sure it's sealed all the way. You do not want random blood tubes floating around inside of a courier bag. Make sure that your lab rack is folded up so that the contents are facing inside and patient information is protected from anybody that is, can see it on the outside. And then there's a little pouch on the back where you put the lab rack in. And then you are good to go for transport. And that is it. Thanks.